Hello YouTube. I'm TJ and let's see what I got for you today. Okay. Today we don't have any tutorial video. I just have a video on uh, a real cutting on a real machine and it will show you how we can apply a multi acid tool pad onto our pump. Okay. And for that all, I want to say thanks to Rob. Rob is a friend on YouTube. He follow my channel. And last week, uh, he sent me a, his master cam file, and he hope I can have it to solve the problem. Okay, so what is the problem? Rob was trying to uh, make a custom counterbore tool on a 4x milling machine, and he make it from a tool steel rod and on a cutting on the, the milling machine, not late. Okay, and this is the draft tool. You can see this the counterbore tool with the pilot here and cutting it. Draft already um, cut the flute here by using the multi acid curve tool pad, but his problem is he didn't know how to. Cut the relief angle on the cutting edge here. You can see. Let's take a look from the front. Okay, for example, this is the park and this is the hole we want to uh, do the counter boring. And you can see if we don't cut the relief angle, the tool will make a full contact with the, the whole surface. And it's, it's corrupt into the material, and it makes the tool wall wear quickly. So you don't want to do it. Even more, you will get a bad surface finish, a very bad surface finish because you have no cutting motion, just rubbing. Okay, and we're gonna cut a relief angle here for the cutting edge. So. The tool will only contact point by point uh, with the material. No full contact. So we cut a relief angle and rub one. We, the relief angle is around 5 to 20 degrees. So how we did it. Okay, I will show you. I use the Master Cam Curve Multi Acid Tool Pad to cut the relief angle. You can see here I have a 3D curve follow on the edge of the cutting edge, and I have a, a surface. You can see the surface is in green color. I use this surface to control the tool action. I create this uh, surface from this solid by using the surface. From solid function, okay. And you can see that I have extend the surface and the curve a little bit far away from the park to avoid collision with the park uh, when we do the leading motion, okay. You can see here on the parameter of the tool pad, I have the cut pattern and select the three D curve to control. Pad, you can see I select this curve, and for the radio offset, I have input a value nearly uh, equal to the tool radius because this example I use a, a quarter end mu, so I input a value of uh, 0.12 inch. Okay, and I tool X control. I have to use the surface control method so the tool will say stay perpendicular to the surface at the contact point. In the output format I will select four exit and the tail exit is X exit. Okay. And let's see how we got what we get. Okay. You can see the tool do the cutting. 
but the problem is you can see the tool did not uh, is the not cut into the material here it does not remove the material uh, behind the cutting edge so what we did I just change the value here on the side till angle I want to till the tool in an angle of 20 degree on the side minus 20 so you can see the difference now you can see that tool has cut into the material here and it create a relief angle for the the cutting edge like this at this point the tool in contact with the cutting edge but at behind the cutting edge the tool remove the material okay this is a look from the front how you can see it I have some problem with the, the screen so I can show it more clear that you can see here I cut here for the relief angle I will increase uh, the angle a little bit for you easy to see for example 40 degree oh I don't know if it hit Now you see it more clear. You can see I have created the relief angle for the cutting edge. And I combine it with the transform tool pad to machine for fluid up the tool like this. First, the second, okay, we have closer look at this. The first. Second, third, and the fourth. Okay, and next you can see how it's cut on a real machine with real pork. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to share this to you to everybody so we can learn about this. We, I, I, I hope we can learn from each other from the video, from the example, from our trouble. Okay. Thanks for watching. Again, thank you very much, Rob, for sending me your video and the comment. See you soon. Goodbye.